an upper-class cat with a hot date. Cecil, darling. I say, one crazy inventor. A grumpy grandfather. And a serious case of mistaken identity. So I'm now joined by Silso. Now you are the cat wrangler of the film. Now that's quite an important job. Now do you think the Cecil was an easy cat to work with? Well, cats in general are pretty tricky. Um, but he was actually very well behaved that day, or the two days we worked on. Um, he did play quite a bit, but uh, that's, that's usual for cats. But overall, I think we worked together pretty well. So he was uh, easier than all the cats I worked uh, uh, before. So, yeah. So, how did you get a cat to do what you want it to do? Now, that's not something that usually is possible with cats. I mean, what's the, what's the touch you've got there? How do you get the cat to do There are a few tricks that we've uh, learned, what I've learned over the years working with cats. Um, one of the things, is obviously, you have to find a, a comfortable area for the animal to be in and making it feel comfortable uh, not too much noise going on around and we use uh, special things to make him feel at home if you like uh, one of the things called catnip I don't know if you heard of it yeah, I, I have cats they, they go crazy for catnip yeah. <laughs> so as probably you saw on the on the film that he's uh, on the pillow all happy so we I, I use quite a lot actually so you're jogging the cat <laughs> In a sense, yeah, he was quite high, I think. But no, there's little little things like that you, you use, uh, uh, you know, to to work with an animal. So you have to just you have to find ways of uh, working or making the animal do what you want it to do. So. And how did you get him to give the looks that you were after? And the because he looks like an incredible actor. I have to say, he deserves an award for well, this. I mean, that wasn't easy. It took many many takes for for those uh, shots. Um, but uh, in this ways, you know, you get the, the the animal's attention, you know, so you make noises in certain places yeah. and he, so he looks up or he looks down. Yeah, so it, it, it takes a lot of work to, to get to that point. So. And is it just cats you work with or you do all animals? Or? No, I mean, I, I work with all kinds of animals. I, um, I specialize in exotics, uh, crocodiles, snakes, you name it, all kinds of exotics. But I work with all kinds of creatures, domestic and obviously large animals as well. You know, it could be ants to tigers oh, wow. yeah so I've, I've, I've worked with ants for films and uh, How you, do you train ants <laughs> <laughs> just have a have a you have to have a good word with the ant before but no I mean it's, it's um, again sometimes with animals like that you just have to uh, hope for the best you know you put them in position and then just wait and see what happens but um, with other animals you just again you just have to find a way of making the shots work, you know, making the animal move to one place to another, just using food or certain things. So, yeah, there's ways, but he, again, it's hard work. And which animal is the hardest to work with? Is, is it the cat? Is the cat the biggest diva out of them all? I must say cats. <laughs> I, I cat, because cats, um, unlike a dog, is loyal. He always waiting for... Uh, um, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, Your commands. Commands, yeah. yeah. But cats, uh, they have a mind of their own. You know, uh, a cat can be incredibly well behaved in their uh, comfort zone. You take him out of that into a different place, he becomes a total different animal. So, in that sense, it's difficult to work with cats. But so we were lucky to work with Dimitri. He was amazing. Although it was hard work to, to get to the point where, you know, to, to get him to do things in the film. So, um, it, overall, I think he was great. But yeah, cats are not my my preferred animals to work in in, in, in films. So. Great pets, just awkward things, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like here, I mean, I, I've I've worked with animals for all, all my life, pretty much. So I, I um, you know, I have an understanding. I think is that you have to sort of use psychology in a sense to work with animals. If you if you work with that, then you you will get the shots. Let's put it that way. Well, thank you so much for joining us this evening. It's absolutely fascinating and uh, well done. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. You've got to be kidding me.
Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.